Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a setup and optimization guide for your Xiaomi Mi 9T or Redmi K20 or K20 Pro. MIUI is a love it or hate it software and there are some cool things about it but some stuff is hidden under different menus and it might not be that obvious. So let's get to it. For the first tip, head into the settings and you can go to about phone. Take note that this is applicable for different Android devices, well most Android devices, but it may not be that obvious to you. So you can head to the MIUI version and click on it 5 times in rapid succession. You should get the notification that you are now a developer. You can then head back and then scroll down to system and device, and then go to additional settings. Then you can scroll down and click on developer options. Scroll all the way down until you locate this menu called Window Animation Scale, Transition Animation Scale, and Animator Duration Scale. It's currently at 1x, but if you'd like to speed up your phone, you can change it by turning off the animation or turning the animation scale to 0.5x. So let's do that. And you should notice that your phone feels much faster in terms of the animations and the general snappiness. Next tip is to turn on reading mode. So you head into your settings and then you can go to personal and display and there will be an option for you to turn on the reading mode. This is also known as the blue filter or the night mode on other phones. What this does is it turns your display to a warm color so the blue light doesn't get to your eyes and you'll have an easier time going to sleep. What you can do is to set a schedule for a custom period. Right now I have it turned on, on at 11.59pm and it automatically turns off at 7am. You can also adjust how warm or how cool the reading mode would be. Reading mode will be turned off while you have HDR videos enabled, so take note of that. You can also locate it under your quick menu here. There should be reading mode there. And let's turn that off. So that's the next tip. Okay, the next tip is to enable battery saver. So you head back into your settings, and then under system and device, there's battery and performance. And you can click on battery optimization. It should scan your phone, and if everything looks good, you can then scroll down and go to battery saver, and then there's a blue button here, go to settings. What you can do is to set a schedule to turn on and turn off battery saver. And right now, I have it at, to start at 11 p.m. and to end at 7 a.m. the next day. So if you turn on battery saver, as you can see, the battery indicator on the upper right hand side will turn orange so you can turn that off and that should save you some battery so that's battery saver the next tip is to enable and modify the ambient display also known as always on display in other phones so if you head to your settings menu and head to display your personal there should be an option there for ambient display and you can set that to turn on and turn off. Of course, it will consume a bit more battery, but I think it's worth it. And you can also set a schedule from when you want to turn it on and turn it off. And if you click on Cox style and background, you can see that there's currently 16 that you can choose from. As far as I know, these are all you can choose and you can't like upload a picture and make that your ambient display. So hopefully with the next version of MIUI, they change that as well. And my personal favorite is actually this one, which is the Astronaut. But this one, the default one, is actually also pretty cool. Because as the time of day changes, so does the moon at the back. It goes from the top to the bottom, and then during nighttime it disappears completely. So that is ambient display. The next one is a personal favorite of mine. So with most Android phones, you've got the buttons here below for home, back, and open menu. But with the Xiaomi Mi 9T or Redmi K20, if you go scroll down and click on full screen display, 
you have the option to navigate through your system from buttons to full screen gestures. So as you can see, it'll get rid of the buttons there. And it might seem daunting at first, but after a day or two of practice, I've grown to love it and it is now my preferred choice. So let's demo it a bit. So if you go to click on this one, if you swipe from the bottom quickly, it'll head to the home screen. And if you, let's see, this next one, if you swipe from the bottom and pause or hold, it'll open the recent menu as shown. So if you swipe right from the edge, it'll head back. You can also swipe left from the edge and it'll do the same. Then you can also trigger the app's action. So basically if you just swipe on the upper side, it'll open that app's menu or trigger the option. And then lastly is switch to previous app. There's no demo for it here, but let's test it out. So let's see if I open Google Chrome and I swipe to the right from the edge and hold just for that tiny bit, you should see the icon change into the settings menu and it should open that as that's the last previous opened app. There we go. And if we do the same, it should open Google Chrome. So that's that. Full screen gestures, no more buttons down below, and it, your full screen display is a full screen display. So very nifty, very handy, and it's very cool that you can take advantage of this. The next tip is to add multiple fingerprints. So the Xiaomi Mi 9T or the Redmi K20 actually has an in-display fingerprint sensor and that's actually pretty quick and pretty fast and secure. But if you want to increase the accuracy even more, you can head to your settings menu and go to lock screen password, click on ma manage fingerprints, and you can put your password if you have one already. You can manage your fingerprints here and as you can see, I've got three fingerprints for my left finger here. That's one, two, and three. So I've made sure that each position or the way I hold my phone differently will ensure that any of my left fingerprints, the thumb specifically, will trigger. So that's how you can increase the accuracy of the fingerprint sensor. While we're here, you can also check out the fingerprint animation here and you can change it from starlight, neon, to rhythm, or pulse. So there's four options. Right now, I just like the default starlight one. So that's how to add multiple fingerprints and to change the look of the animation. So for this next tip, you're going to actually need a pair of headphones to plug into the 3.5mm headphone jack. Because if you want to increase the enhanced sound or turn on hi-fi audio, you're going to need a wired set of headphones or earphones. So once you plug them in, you can head to your settings menu and head to additional settings under system and device and then scroll down a bit and there's headphones and audio effects. So if you've got hi-fi audio here, you can turn that on and turn that off and there's also actually me sound enhancer when using speakers. So if you enable that, there's different options for you. It actually tweaks the EQ a lot, so you can use that. There's also the actual equalizer, which you can fiddle around here. But I actually just like turning on me sound enhancer and turning on hi-fi audio. If you take out your headphones, like I'm about to do right now, you actually don't have the options to change it. So you'll need to have the headphone jack plugged in and able to enable this. So that's Hi-Fi Audio and Me Sound Enhancer. The next tip is to enable Quick Ball. So if you head to your settings, scroll down to additional settings under system and device, there should be an option here called Quick Ball. And if you enable that, it'll actually open up a sort of gesture or additional home button here on the right side. So if you click on that, it'll give you some shortcuts for you to use. So you've got home button, you've got the 
open recents button you've got screen lock you've got screenshot and you've also got the option to power off or restart the phone right now you can't really customize it that whole lot but if that's something you'd like you can also enable that hopefully in the next version of MIUI Xiaomi will be able to let us customize this so that actually just took a screenshot there what I meant to do is if you turn it on and close it and then swipe this back it'll head back to the side there so that's quick walk so the next tip is to try out a custom launcher if you can't get over the lack of an app drawer with MIUI but since I don't have a launcher to try out right here I'll leave some links down below for Nova launcher and some other launchers that are my personal recommendation what you can also do is to change up the theme so if you head to your settings menu click on themes right now we have the default theme but if you'd like you can change to the classic theme which is here click on apply and if we go back home wait for a bit we've now changed up the theme and it looks pretty different if we head back to the settings try out this other theme I've downloaded which is the Mi 9 TE click on apply wait for a few seconds and see how it changed up the look there so if you can't do a custom launcher like Nova what you can do is head to the theme store download some themes and change up the look of your device so the last tip we have for today is for those who didn't really want to try out the full screen gestures this one's for you so we head into settings and we go to additional settings under system and device click on button and gesture shortcuts so you can see some functional shortcuts here like launch camera which I currently have at double press the power button taking a screenshot by sliding three fingers down and if I'd like to turn off the screen, I'll just long press the home button, turn on torch or the flashlight by long pressing on the back button. And if I'd like to open split screen, I can long press the menu button. So those are all the functional shortcuts that you can use right now. Let's see if there are any other useful ones. Clicking on power and home isn't very nifty, but it is what it is and yeah. That's button and gesture shortcuts. So that's all the tips and tricks we've got today. I hope you learned something about the Xiaomi Mi 9T, the Redmi K20, and you're able to take some of the tips here and optimize the phone better. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, please feel free to sound off in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the notification bell for updates on future videos. And I'll be doing more tutorials such as how to install Gcam. And I'll probably be doing my top 10 likes and dislikes about the phone and other useful content. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!